nilimjua akiwa primary akiwa mtu mdogo hata katika harusi yetu hata katika harusi yetu kama ninaweza kukuletea picha za harusi kwa sababu nilifanya harusi sambia mtu bishop alifanya harusi hakupitia huko kwa mapepe yes katika harusi ukiona msichana ako hapo mdogo anapiga anapiga darama eh katika picha zetu au video ya harusi ni miaka mingi ujue huyo ni wangu jiri bwana yesu asifiwe sana kwa hivyo ni mtu ambaye nimeona mungu akimuinua kutoka kwa nyumbani ndugu mkubwa wao dr wachori ambaye ni mkubwa wao rafiki yangu sana daktari ambaye anaishi marikani na tulihubiri na yeye wakati alikuwa mwanajeshi tulihubiri na yeye katika nchi hii tukapenya tukaingia mahali kwingi kwa sababu ya jina lake mokosi na wakati huo huyu dada mhubiri mtumishi wa bana bado alikuwa ameokoka sitaki kuongea details za maisha yake wakati huo atatoa ushuhuda kama atataka, anataka lakini kwa sasa nimemuona akitoka chini akawa mahali paliko na ninajua Mungu anaweza kuinua watu ninajua Mungu anaweza kuinua watu ninamheshimu kwa sababu amekuwa consistent kutoka mwanzo na kwa hivyo nimemuita kama mzaliwa wa Muranga akaachilie unabii na kutabiria wadugu na wamama wa na wasichana na wazee na atabirie mchanga wa, mchanga wa Muranga ili Bwana akaweze kuachilia kile mchanga umeshika Muko tayari kupokea Baada yake pia tuna another spiritual bulldozer mbaya anaitwa Bishop Simon Muraidi Muraidi anaongoza kikundi cha maombi kule Kiambu kule Kiambu na yeye atatunenea siku ya leo Mungu anamtumia mambo ya kusimamisha misingi mizuri katika maisha ya watu na uongozi wa kanisa na Mungu atamtumia siku ya leo kama baraka hata nyinyi hamjui nimezaliwa Muranga mnafikiria anga nilizaliwa wapi Eh? Mimi ni mzaliwa hapa Muranga. Hii Muranga hakuna mahali nitaenda. Kesho naweza kukuambia kwangu ni wapi. Lakini kwa sasa uingie kwa maombi. <laughs> Haleluya. Ningetaka tukaweza kusimama tuinue mikono yetu, tumwambie Bwana tutembelee. Nikienda kumkaribisha kipawa chake Bwana mtumishi wa Bwana, a Reverend Evangelist Lucy Wangujiri, tuweke makovi pamoja. Tupigie Yesu makofi tumkaribishe Kama sio wewe ningekuwa wapi mimi tuimbe wote kama sio wewe baba kota shetani
Bishop Moses Bogwa niruhusu nibe kifungo moja tu. Nijisikie niko nyumbani. Amen. Kabla ya kuwasalimia. Itiga ku gavane wegai. Odone ojo e bereo. Eda shokia gado bere aku e kuga ma. Heni na di dore e shokia gado goroi. He di tiga ku gavane wegai. In a shokia gado bere akue. In Jesus name to say me Amen, Amen Sasa nimejisikia niko nyubani Na wasalimu katika jina la yesu Good afternoon I'm saying good afternoon Najwa mi naedaga live kwa Facebook Kwa Youtube Kwa zingine Ili watu wajue kule niko I don't hide Dieta hako hitha Na ninataka dunia yote ijue niko nyubani and I don't regret and I thank God ona kwaga maodo mothe mega oko ne mo na mutu hachuki angi kwao ata kama wanaenda choo yenye ikona murango ya gonia neto wanyita na we are home home sweet home amen hey machozi kita kumushukuru mungu sana kwa askofu moses bogwa na mamu Asante ni sana kwa kile muliona dani yangu. Ukweli ni kwamba ni mewafua tamiaka mingi. Na kama vile amewambia njini wote, yes. Lilikuwa na drum ni kiimba. Hei, si mungu anatuwa gawatu kabari. Osa imwa dani wadharu. Hei, utume tairi ya iriku. Madhi na madhi etego dira eto abate Ego saika ito Kwanza nilikuwa nafanya hivi na drama Namoe madhi na madhi etego dira Those are the days Na mungu amewaweka amewatia neema yake na nguvu zake wamekuwa kielelezo nikiwaona naambia mungu thank you mwadhani because indeed i was a tiny girl lakini ndani yangu kulikuwa na begu amen na hiyo begu ndio hii ilizaa bwana asifiwe sana hey, machozi nayo neema ya mungu imeniwef 
nimewezesha kufika mahali nimefika amen kwa kujipenda sana siku ya leo ninashukuru Mungu sana kwa baba yangu bishop daktari Francis Washori I declare for my daddy in a big big way Najua watu wengine wanasema sijuzi ulituambia babako aliaga na huyu naye Mwenye aliaga ni babangu biological lakini we are sisi ni wakikuyu tunajua wale wamezaliwa na baba yetu brothers ni baba si ndio Sasa baba yangu mwenye amenizaa ndiye mkubwa oda than bishop daktari Wachori lakini huyu bishop daktari Wachori ndio alifanya tuokoke Huyu huyu amenipeleka sana haki. Yaani mpigieni makofi wacha niwaambie. Anatuombea tukiwa wadogo kama tunachapwa na baba yetu tunafukuzwa. Alafu anakuja kuuliza kila mtu apange rai na mpatie ushuhuda. Na mimi najua dero rogo kono na niguete hata nimeanguka. In primary school lakini nasimama pale anasema nataka ushuhuda. Yaani na unangengana kumpatia ushuhuda. Ame travel no ya dore ya mana ngenga na ame travel for our family any time na muangalia machozi utoka bishop the lord bless you daddy santi kwa kunipenda kupenda jamii yetu walileta ijiri kwetu maombi yao maombi yao ikafanya babangu aweze kuokoka na kwa leo family yetu tumeokoka wote this great gentleman Nikalao sijui kama nilikwambia Bishop Bogwa huyu hata makofi amenipiga huyu. Makofi. Uliko unafanya nini kwa barabara? Na uko magaidia tu. Ah nake ah vijana watafanya ujuda upote. Ama daddy, oh kono watu wanani yakeigwe kiondokega. This game so hapana. Makofi. Ajua alikuwa mwalimu, he's retired. Not tired but retired teacher. Hey makofi. Kube makofi itanifikisha mahali nimefika. Amen. Just muangalie muambie no sawa. Muambie tena no sawa. And then miaka hiyo nikikua he married one of the most beautiful kwetu kwa tumeona beautiful woman like that. You should see the wife akisimama sasa uimagine uimagine sasa 40 years ago. 45 years. You just imagine. Hata ndoko batara kuelewa. Mama ebusi mama. Reverend Zipora. Can you start? Uangalie uso tu hata no you want my though. Ebu look at her. Now, fear and a car minus 45 years. Oh my God, Jesus. Mimi likuwa na mukaribia na guza kidogo. Nyone kana e no mo. Na kama e sawa. A woman who has actually prayed for our family to be where we are today. Thank you, Mama, for loving us. Thank you. Ata kuwa hampa, ati umeketi mimi na wahubilia. Do you have any idea what I feel? Neema ya Mungu juu ya maisha yenu. Thank you so much daddy for coming. Nihubili kama mmeketi. Mungu awabariki sana. Na ninajua hanioni vizuri hiki kitu imefunga daddy. Kwa hivyo tuget taka acha nikuonyesha vile tutafanya. Bishop Muturi kaide kwa unyenyekevu kwa sababu wenu warilo kama mimi. And thank you for blessing us. Uende mahali da baba yangu ameketi. Wewe unanionanga kwa runinga sana. Unanionanga. Wacha babangu aketi pale. Wewe ndio unaniangalia vizuri kushinda a a tubadilishe. Is that that's your why? The lady that I hugged, anyone who bili wa me bariki wa vazi. God, please just exchange. Bishop Bogwa, please ni samehe tu. I want my dad to see me. Yeah, mubadirisha ne tu aketi pale. You know he's my intercessor. Na ni nataka ni ora rogwa e o gire ire neke. You know akiniona he feels good. Amen. I love that. Hallelujah. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Nimefurahi sana. Bishop George E. Moranga and your beautiful wife. Asante sana. Sande nilikutangaza kwa radio. Nikasema watu wakutafute wakwambie usikose. Asante ujatuangusha. We love you daddy mbarikiwe sana. Bishop Muridhi all the way from Kiabu. My bishop kule pade ya Kiabu. Tumehubili na yeye mikutano mingi. Wacha ni kuwabie jameni tusitoke mpaka tupokea kile tunapata from this general. God anakuanga mbaya. Ile, you know, ile unasikia unasema, ee, ebu sema, ee. 
it is that bishop mrefu asante sana si na hapo and all the servants of god wale wote mko hapa wale umetoka maeneo bali bali na wale wametoka pbb can you start and say a big hallelujah wale nimetoka na wengine wako nje pbb sema hallelujah that is not convincing that hiyo mumeona kule mama wenu walitoka mumeona kule mama yenu walitoka mumeona wale wamewahubilia afike hapa can you give a better hallelujah pbb toria gai Emoranga tolia gai If you come from Ranga Emoranga tolia gai Emoranga tolia gai Eto tirama katolia gai Mwambie Bishop Bogwa tunataka kesha. Mwambie tunataka kesha wapi? Wewe please mwambie wewe Bishop, mwambie wewe Bishop. Msimuogope si msimuogope mwambie wewe Bishop. Sisi tunataka kesha. Hii hatuwezi tosheka. Mwire tawago daida. Idwa de toria gai. Get seated, get seated. Najua kuna ingine hatuwezi tosheka, amen? Akesha wudu. Nimesimama hapa, nikiwa a daughter of Muranga. Na nikiwa ya kwamba, mahara hapa, I grew. 51, now going to 52 years ago, nikazaliwa. And I grew up, mtoto wa Sade School. Nika grew up, mtoto head girl nikiwa from standard 4 mudhidi primary school nika grew up siu chair ready and head girl mudhidi secondary school from form 2 i grew up in moranga amen and god saw the leader in me kuwa kuwa siu chair lady sio kitu ya mchezo and i remember bishop wachori walikuwa wanapanga kina bishop muridi bishop bogo walikuwa wanapanga ma crusades na forums za secondary school wanatuma watu kutuhubilia wanasema no mugakura bishop kanieru you know even those people no mugakura siku moja mtakuwa look at what god has done amen amen so muranga is blessed bwana asifiwe sana ndio mimi naobeaga muranga sana miaka moja imepita bishop bogwa kuna delegation ya muranga ilikuja kuniona wakasema wameona vile ninaendelea na wagetaka nisimame muranga nikiwa either woman rep ama governor. Oh my kulikana na maoni yao na ridhori yao. Iliona wagojiri can do better. Juu nilikuwa nateseka tu na ubiri nateseka na uko walia na kuhoyana kulira because I cry. Mtu mwingine akaniuliza kwa nini unalia hivyo wakati uko kwa radio ukiongea. <coughs> Ni dalili kana kule ya dejiro. Nikikumbuka kule Mungu ameni amenitoa machozi hata saa hii kitabai kwet when i remember kule mungu amenitoa when i remember the sacrifices of our daddy bishop wachori hapa tuko sawa nikawaambia jameni yani niliwajibu na, 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 na this one answer bishop bogwa almighty god he had only one begotten son god manifested kwa ulimwengu huu si ndio and one begotten son alikuwa anaitwa nani na anaitwa nani Jesus Christ God akiwa ni ye mkuu wa all professions under the face of the earth akiwa ni ye mkuu newe okuwe the all the big mighty professions under the face of the earth alimfanya the only begotten son akuwe nini sema pastor preacher now nikawambia i believe kama Mungu hakumfanya Yesu Kristo akuwe engineer kama hakumfanya Yesu Kristo akuwe specialist in this and this alimfanya preacher manze niliwaangalia nikawaambia i am I, i believe i am in the highest profession maria jikaga makopora babosa tai 
Ile kazi niko ile mimi Mungu ameniita nifanye. It is beyond being a president in this nation. Because we call and God hears. Amen. Amen. Na Mungu akanipa jukumu katika kule prayers beyond. Na hata kama jukumu ya kuona to see transformed nations by the power of prayer and the working of the Holy Spirit. Ya kwamba ninapoomba Mungu anatenda maku na kazi yangu kanipa kuombe hata viongozi. No wonder the leaders of these nations uh, nation are my friends. Governor wa hapa rafiki wangu wa karibu. Woman rep wa hapa rafiki wangu wote. MP wa mimi nikipika simu sahi nitawapata wote. MCA wote huku Muranga na sio Muranga tu. Na siedagi kwao kuambia nipe they honor me why? Because I don't go to them kuabia please munipe. I go to them kuabia the Lord says. Amen. And the Bible and they honor me for that. And they honor me for for that. So watu wa Muranga wenye mlitumana, msitumane tena. I don't want to be a politician. I want to be afraid of politicians. Amen. Amen. Kwa hivyo kama uko pale na umegojea kuniambia muhura huu nisiachwe. I'm doing well as a preacher. Amen. Entigane Jesu nie digera ina Todo magerio Nani maige Bisho bogo walikuwa wanaiba na kiroho. Heti wanasema ni tamodorare ya kikoa. Heti walikuwa wanaiba hivyo nikiwafua tatu. Walikuwa wanasema heti gane. Let's sing. Ole to ni ole ama inda gatene. And Bishop Muridi, Bishop Muridi alikuwa anatuhubilia huyu dine anakuambia dangerous. Musitoke. Tuko sawa? Hebu mmgojea msikie. Walikuwa wanaiba karibu. And Bishop Wachari wanazunguka kwetu akisema tabauge. Toiga. Heti gane Jesu. Those are the days that watu wakiambiwa muranga tunakutana mkutano walikuwa wanafika kule nje bali sana but tumefika nyakati we are pleading with people to come to Jesus. May Jehovah restore Moranga County. Wakati askofu aliniita kuja hapa. Nilianza kuuliza Mungu what do I tell my people? Nitawaambia namna gani? Nike Gomera. And the Lord akanikubusha mambo ya jirafu. Sasa jirafu ile wakira hanake hujio. Inakujia wapi? Lakini sisi wote si tunajua jirafu. Jirafu iko na nini kubwa? Shigo kubwa na miguu. Wacha nikwambie kitu kidogo. Bishop Wachori nikukubusha dadi about jirafu. Nilipeana hadithi moja kameme this is my number one listener. Ya vile jirafu inazaa. Jirafu na miguu yake yote, not unless mambo imebadilika, hailali ikizaa. Inazaa kama imesimama. Na unaona urefu wake hivi. Katoto nani ako karibu ashikirie mtoto hakuna. Katoto kana toka juu kana aguka chini? Asio pa unasema boom. Katoto kana toka juu kana aguka chini? Kamezaliwa. Kana kufa? Aha. Hakakufi. Wakati kameanguka, the same jila inachukua ile mguu yake refu ni re ama ni le, L ama R. Ah si tu yamura nga no sawa sawa. Ah haya. Inachukua mugu inagonga kale katoto. Unasema kana goga gwaje? Pa. Tia, tuseme tia. Kana inagonga ile katoto? Tia. Kana amuka kidogo, kana aguka tena. Ah ne moko alia boom. Kana aguka tena? Boom. The first time. The second time my bishop bogwa. Jira ina train katoto kake, kamezaliwa saa hii. You know what baby? You gonna walk. Lazima uweze kusimama. Lazima uweze kujua how to handle difficult situations in life. Inakuja tena inakafanya hivi na, na, na kichwa. Tena inakapatia teke. Kana simama, kana jaribu kusimama, karafu, kana anguka chini. Several times. Mpaka kajirafu. 
kanaenda hivi na kamekazaliwa kanaanza ku walk in life one person used of the holy spirit ladies and gentlemen akatumiwa kuangalia maisha yetu kama vile jira inaza na yule mtoto wa jira na juu ya kwamba sisi wengi tumetoka Moranga and those who are watching from outside maisha hapa Moranga maisha yetu tukiwa wachugaji maisha tukiwa wa watu wa kanisa maisha mtotorele katika maisha haya kunazo nyakati maisha inatuangusha chini na tukienda kuinuka kidogo tuko kanisani tunapenda Mungu tuko kwa jamii zetu tunawaambia mambo ya God lakini maisha inatupika teke na bado unagoja na unaenda kanisa hukosi kanisa juu ya maisha ukingenana tu katika ile maisha tena unapigwa teke bara jiraf mtoto wa jiraf anaweza tu in the midst of all difficult scenarios and circumstances anaweza kusimama na anaendelea ladies and gentlemen maisha yetu kila mmoja wetu starting with this woman mwenye amesimama bele yenu tumepitia ama tunapitia maisha yenu dunia hii imetuangusha chini na saa zingine tukienda kuinuka katika jamii zetu ndugu zako dada zako wazazi wako kabiashara yako umepewa neno la Mungu liweze kukusimamisha lakini ladies and gentlemen maisha inatupiga teke and some of us hata wa leo tulikuja kanisani siku ya leo because moranga has to be restored makota ya debo sataya moranga has to be and we came We are being restored. Spirit uweze hata kama tumepigwa na maisha. Hata kama kimeumana katika maisha yetu. Hata kama kifedha kimeumana. Hata kama kimwili mambo imeumana. Hata kama jamii watoto wetu wamekunywa ere bakata sata. Hata kama wazazi wengine wamekunywa ni maisha kama mtoto wa jira tumepigwa teke. Lakini roho wa Mungu anasema He did not die. Jesus didn't die for animals. He died for human beings. Listen to me no humility. Ili nikwambie kile kilifanya nikuje hapa. Because I believe and I believe Bishop Bogwa alinenewa na Mungu nikuje. Not because I am the best. Muranga kuna wahubili. Dunia hii iko na wahubili. But God knew that nikikuja mahara hapa nitaongea kile kinaendelea kwa maisha yako. Makapori ya dabasa. And listen to me. When God nilikuwa ninasema Sunday kwa radio, kuna watu wananisikiza kameme. Ade wakameme wanani awasho? Ah, tulia ige. Nilikuwa nasema Sunday wakati Mungu alijitafutia his chosen nation, ade wake Kiobe. He went to Abraham then to deliver them he went to Moses alitumia binadamu Joshua na wengine wengi alikuwa anatumia binadamu but when god chose to die for us he chose to have us adopted into his kingdom ivyo tutueke ako igilio thamaki ne wake because we did not belong while the special people ni israelites lakini Mungu akaona ya kwamba sisi akatuhurumia akaona we have to be adopted into his kingdom tutuike jana yake tutuike jana yake wa igoro for us to become jana yake ni todo ni wa magegania god had to come himself makapuri ya baba sata god had to come and jesus had to die No ginya na gya Jesu agya kuire. Uguo niguo tuli ya magegania. Nigetha tutuike ciana cia Ngai. Jesus had to Lakini Israelites to be delivered na makoro ma special people. It was Moses. It was Joshua. Lakini mimi na wewe we are special. We are unique. Ithwe no tokuireirwo. Tinigetha tutuike agoro. Ni tondu tuli ya goro mani. Ah kapori ya daba sataya. Listen to me and I need your smiles as I continue. Nimurajigwa. Yes, Jesus didn't die so that we can become worthy people. He died to worthy people. Tori ya goro. Tori ya doa goro even before that's why he came. Amen. And so I worship God for that. So, maisha kupigwa na maisha. 
kama jiraf na watoto wa jiraf lakini mtoto yule wa jiraf finally anaweza na kutebea i came to prophesy makapori ya baba basataya i came to prophesy mokapori ya baba to my muranga county na to the people who joined us here today na kwa wale wanatufuata wakiwa bari nimekuja kutangaza mahara hapa ya kwamba kama vile jiraf mtoto wake anasimama na sisi tutasimama haijarishi yale umepitia meka na mama mama sataya haijarishi yare umepitia katika maisha i am sent by god as a daughter in the kingdom to come and tell you ni okorogama ni okorogama ni okorogama geri arenge geri arenge wana kai kana Jaribu tena kusimama hata kama maisha imesukuma. Jaribu tena kusimama hata kama ijiri inaonekana kama ifanyi kazi. Jaribu tena kuobea jamii yenu hata kama wamekunywa wamekuaibisha itora ya kwanyu. Geri ya rege keep praying. Geri ya rege onegai nyiguaga. Kama hawa kina bishop wachori waliomba Baba wa baba yangu aweze kuokoka. How many years? They prayed over that years. They fasted over that years. Waone brother yao akijua Mungu. Na vile waliendelea kuomba, nigua marumaga. Irumita ngigweta ha. Nigua mahoraga gumi na ama kifanga, yani panga, unarushiwa panga na muna hii. But even in that scenario, makori ya baba usataya. They continued praying. Na baba yangu akaokoka. They continued praying for watoto wetu. Wakiombea sisi twana to aboro wito. Watoto wa ndugu yangu waweze kusimama. I am a result of somebody who did what? Wageririe rege, geri ya rege. Geri ya rege. Akori ya baba. Wana kai ne guaga mahoya. For the county to be restored. For our families to be restored. For our lives and the fear of God to be restored. No ginya to geri rege. We have to keep moving even when kunaonekana kama ganyei kalire muno. After wakati inaonekana ya kwamba it's like God is not making sense. We are going to remain strong. We are going to remain firm. We are going to remain courageous. Todo ne korega ima tuine. Ne korega ima tuine. Ne korega ima. Ota shono raga dole mamu yokate. Eni oyo timu agandu. Mamu yokato keshaya. We hoke ku. And so the theme of my today is uh, you are better off. We we mwegega, we better. You are better off kutumika na Mungu. You are better off haijarishi ile mambo umeona na unajionea na yale umesikia. You are better as compared to who? Nimekuja siku ya leo Bishop Bogwa to compare myself you ourselves with Jesus Christ ni kwa nini naweza sema today mwega kwa kila kwa Jesu i am here to talk about the genealogy of Jesus Christ masata ya raba we are better of and Jesus is speaking to us today and he's telling us i understand you yesu anaongea akiwa katika kiti cha enzi interceding for you interceding for me agitoda idhanira na Yesu anasema hivi ni demwada stadaga mimi nawaelewa niko kanisani na kimeumana i understand niko mwenyu kanisani na sijalipa school fees ae niko kanisani nimekuja mkutano huu na mume wangu ameniletea shida nimefika mwisho Jesus is saying Niko kanisani Mungu mimi watoto wangu wameteseka Jesus is saying Niko kanisani siku ya leo nimesoma na sina kazi Yesu anasema And I'm here in all humility ladies and gentlemen to make you understand how Jesus understands Makapo ya Raba Sijali kwa mate Why how 
Yesu anatuelewa namna gani? We are better off. Ero sio mliga netie. Kavata we. Mwira we bafata we. Let's have the genealogy of Jesus. Kama kuna Biblia Bishop Bogwa, kama kuna maandiko sisomagi. You know, Pastor Benny Hinn na niliheshimika kuwa mmoja wale walipanga mkutano wake. Na Mungu amemtumia kuja kuomba na kutuogoza kan, ili kanisa la Mungu lipone na Kenya ilipone. Kwa hivyo ninaamini Kenya imepona. Yeah. So Muranga tunakuja kunyonya from what God has done. Amen. Amen. Alituambia tusome Biblia sana. Tusije tukafika biguni tulia rais kuna kitu tulikosa. Tusipike biguni tukute gai. Kumbe hapa ilikuwa imeandikwa hivi sikujua reading the word. Bishop wacha niongee ukweli. Ukweli ni ukweli na usemwe. Tuhamwe. Etwanyitana. Tuonge ukweli. Mimi mimi Matthew chapter 1 si somangi. Especially from 1 to hapo 15 mimi si somangi sana hata siwezi kubuka le. Alafu mimi nilikuwa naangalia mimi tasijawahi ubili. Matthew chapter 1. I'm doing it for the first time. Yeah. Why? Because mimi kama nyinyi sasa zingine tunasoma Bible where you want God to speak to you. Mungu ninaposoma nena na roho yangu. Hebu tuingie pale uniambie how guy arali at there. Nini what is God saying? Number one. The book of the genealogy of Jesus. Mkumbuke nimewambia my theme title. You are better off. Wewe mwege? Mwegega. And Jesus understands you. Please msisahau. Ati wagojira nikuja Muranga wakati wa revival na restoration. Akasema ati nie afadhali nie nie de mwegega. Na Jesu ni ani understand. Nini na kikuyu? Ni kwa understand. Si ndio? in the understanding is english na kikuyu ndiko adasta kwa adastada so jesus anatoada anatoa adastada so look at this let's go the book of the genealogy of jesus kule yesu ali ali toka alizaliwa christ the son of david the son of abraham tuendelee ni kuonyesha Kwa nini nasema he understands us? Abraham begot Isaac. Tunataka kuonyeshwa vile Yesu Kristo alikuja huu mulimwenguni kutuokoa. Ili wakati maisha inatufanya hivi bado sinaweza kusima na anatu understand? Ni muko wali anatua? Can you imagine? Nikidriga wewe mwega ni ade mwega katuliegega idhue. Jesus Yesu alitoka kwa genealogy ya Hawa na Biblia imesema. Sasa hata ukisoma hii unashindwa Abraham begot Isaac, Isaac begot Jacob, Jacob begot Judah and his brothers. Oh, tido how we go mama ya. You know tunataka mahali na, inakuambia tell the righteous. Isaiah written, it shall be well with the Lord has blessed me. Seek ye first the kingdom of God. Blessed is the man. Tunatakanga yale. Lakini wacheni tutoke hapo. Tuingie katika ile kitabu yenye imeandikwa kutuonyesha how god came to this world through what the origins call incarnation how god became a man makatarayaba because god jesus christ is god manifested vile mungu aliji manifest he became jesus yesu christo akawa the image of the invisible god maana yesu christo ne keruru jesu ne keruru kiaga yuri otonekana uliotonekaga lakini huyu Yesu kuja nikio dira kwa you are better off ndio jamii ganetia we better sasa ukisoma yote Judah begot Perez Zera by Tamar imagine umekalisha watoto chini ama kanisa wabia kaito thome kigokea gai rudi tena na bawan tusome neno ili tubarikiwe aha after Abraham toka hapo Abraham begot Isaac Isaac begot Jacob Jacob begot Judah and his brothers Judah begot Perez and Zerah by Tamar. Perez begot do in where to take the anake. Oh the genealogy ina tusaidiaje? I want to prepare you for something. John 21:31. These scriptures in the Bible from generation to revelation. The Bible records in our humility ladies and gentlemen. 
they were written so that we may believe can you imagine he yote he ya kwamba ile mambo yote Yesu alifanya ile mambo yote ilifanyika those days igewekwa kwa kitabu hakuna kitabu kigetoshea so the bible was summarized ikawekwa ile very important ili mimi na wewe tuamini rujori ya terere haha torete kiake and there are also many other things that Jesus did thank you 25 which they were written one by one and i suppose that even the world itself marka poria daba i love this the they are there the giga nera the whole world could not contain the books that would be written lakini kwa yote ilifanywa to be any matthew akiadikia wayahudi na anaanza na genealogy ili watu wajue kule yesu alitoka wa muheshimu no ginya gyo giria guo ananza kutuabia wa gojiria gesiaro ne boro boro ale moro anyina na mosoki mosoki agesiaro kwa anyina dramuguna nake now let me tell you why we are here go back to it i want to show you how important you are and better you why is it written go back to it and the other scripture Hey, the same the same mad you want to naigia hapo one to remember these to need the two Abraham begot Isaac Niko hapa siku ya leo kuambia that Abraham mwenye tumeandikiwa hapa he sinned against God Alikuwa nasikia sauti yake Mungu na mimi nani go nie de mohoi bishop nani go mama mama bishop mushop Bwachori nigwa tumwetaga ithwe. Bio bwachori ali ajeria te dalia ngai ni ali jiguaga. Ali niambia nikiomba tu Mungu ananisikiza. Na nilikuwa namuuliza, "Tukire ngai ali kamugabo kamwe, ko ni fahamu tu ni arajigua." Ani nene tu aniambia, "Wa go jiri ne go iguaga." And he told me, "God will never do that because we are living in the church era and we live by faith. Everything is by that God is there so do not be like me those days nothing like that will ever happen it was happening in the old days but these days Jesus is revealed Hebrews chapter 1 Abraham akiwa amesikia sauti ya Mungu not like us he sinned against God akiremwa ni gweterera akaambiwa na mke wako how about this girl akiona tikoru agikoma na kairetu kawera he sinned against did god change his agenda because of that ah uh, did god change the agenda gainya shajiria mushara wake ugakafanie and abraham begot isaac do you know something about kuna mambo mengi sana these are great theologians they know so much about isaac lakini wacha kwa sababu ya nafasi na wakati ni muda niko nayo nisiongee mengi lakini ni kuambia kitu moja about isaac aligojea mpaka azeeke ili aweze kupatia watoto wake inheritance amezeeka mpaka macho haoni mudrumiro na niakirire ili agukua na dagira andu wake na hali ya grumo ri ingegowa ri mwana ucio ni wanyutu Oyo gere ne wakangata mwena oyo Na gwa hari ya rugongore ne wao Adu amuranga muti gwete tongoria mwena oria ne wao Ato Ne wa dede dede nyoro oi mwena oriko Na ke betie sawa betie sawa hari ya kiadare Oe hana MP wa muranga town Sidi nyonyo Isaac agejipanga na watoto wake kabla ya kuzeeka awapange vizuri he didn't kitu ingine alipendelea mtoto mmoja kushida huu mwingine did god stop the agenda maana matthew chapter number 1 inatuonyesha how jesus our savior came to this earth the plan of god mufago wa gai wakati isaac alifanya yare edre mwana oyo kwa yogi akaradhi moyo na ciothe ni ciana ciake tuliko tunasema kwa ya gwito muthithi gutire wada na wamugo but isaac decided ekurathi moyo uyo dekurathima did god stop the agenda 
hindi ya wali giru wane moto ulele re niki gea tomire we mene hindi ya wali giru wane moto ulele niki gea tomire wa ego diye kanitha Isaac begot who? Isaac age shirao Jacob ladies and gentlemen there is so much to talk about Jacob lakini wacha ni kuambie moja tu a deceiver muhenania aliva ile gozia ro warwa robori agithia Isaac ni ku bishop wa shori agithia kire Isaac ithe nenie akihenania akire ithe Isaac Isaac baba yake na mure nidiraigwa mugambo na mwere ni wa na mwere nidiraigwa ni wa dede nyoroe no kai mugambo ni wa kanatha mwere ni wa ni mwere shingi wa dede no no mugambo ni wao Jacob deceived the brother the father akihena nia but madena make mu madhuda finally after a long story he became the father of the 12 tribes of israel favored of god renewed with a relationship with jehovah gai ake muamura for himself god did not change his agenda because of any mistake that jacob did ari kwa mwanyi to ya droi ero sio muriganithia ah ili aweze kusikia huyu mfanya hivi mwenene wa sikiza listen to me dear ones why is matthew chapter 1 there it is to bring us to this that jesus understands that we are much better that we can do it that we can make it mambo ile biblia inaongea kuhusu genealogy ya yesu sisi wengine hata tutiita wa kuhereria maudo mawaganu na mauruta maya but jesus still was born kugo na kwanyi ni kugo kushiaro kaudo There is something happening. Let's continue ladies and gentlemen. Let's keep going. Masha takaya raba. Halala. Then Jacob hatutasoma wote tunaruka wengine. Jacob and Jacob begot begot him nige dogo ya whatever. Begot who? Judah and his brothers. Tukiingia kwa brothers tutastuka. Because our brothers walipanga vile wataua their own brother. Make mo fagera we wan ka tare wa go jiri o kiaria ide bro da sia dire sia ire tu atano bro ha so dio sio mudhuri ocio aliza was chana watano kwani we we ka ire tu we jeri no yo ngihuthiro tio tinda ga kame na sa de italia muoyo no we ai age mati ngihuthiro they hated one of them one of their their brothers wakapanga vibaya wewe munachukiana na watu wenu na hujawai panga wa akufe Joseph Did God change the plan? No. Masia takaya raba. I'm here to tell you. Uria gai afa gire igoro ria kwanyu. Masia takaya raba. Uria gai afa gite igoro ria kwa. Uria gai afa gite gweka igoro ria ku. Gutire mahinya makwa goma. Mekugiria gai eonanie. Todo etago gai. We gai ma idamo. A very controversial genealogy. Very controversial. But still the agenda of God stood the test of time most families jamii nyingi ziko na secrets zao 
ziko na yale mambo tunajua furani wetu alifanya furani wetu alifanya kwetu alifanya hivi na wakati tunaenda family gatherings atuongeangi mambo ya hizo mimi and i'm proud of having my daddy here huyu baba yetu bishop wachori bishop bogwa anatuambiaga he had a brother called kimani and i'm telling you and inasema kwa madhabahu huyu hajawahi tuambia huyu brother yake kimani alikufa aje kulifanyika nini atemeli ruone soso isio mtiwe kimi isio kimi mimi nilikuwa nauliza my dad kabla ya fafa goku ali ndio lagia fafa fafa unatuambiaga ulikuwa na kimani named after my brother because i have a brother called kim and i know he's watching from nakuru bye bro you know namuliza kim watoto anasema my brother anku ilere alikuwa ameoa aligojeka alifanyika nini nikiuliza bishop anatuambia isio so even in our families today kuna zo mambo zenye hatuongeagi sana lakini ilifanyika we do not know what happened wakati mnakutana kwa family kukula na kukunywa especially disaba kanale tokedie kwa inanego kana nego kana Hakuna wakati tunaketi kusema ni moyo baba yetu ako na side chick Fafale ena mohiki Akiwa pale do we say that tunanyamaza there are secrets in family Wakati tunakutana family hata kwa mazishi tukienda mazishi mnajua kweli kabisa vile brother yako alikuwa anapiga mke wake lakini watu wote wanasema na wale mode mweruti limono anafanyaga kwa dado mwadiado dali dhina namo unakuta mke wake ako pale ni machozi unasema ah kwa ni kolero ni kod ni gukwero ararira ni gukwero analia juu amefiwa lakini analia kwa sababu yule mnaongea sio yule anajua ai yule mnaongea mhoreri hana shida na mtu lakini mgo kaiko ni mwethe na ule adore Munaona watoto kwa mazishi wakiria munaona mtu naatia moyo ati wanalia juu ya baba yao wanalia wakiambia ega ido ekawega wa moraga ngai Mungu mwanja beba in families there are secrets Am I making sense in families there are there are secrets There are watu katika jamii zetu katika maisha yetu wakati tumeugana na marafiki wetu we rarely tell them todora nyona ha miezi tatu sijaripa nyumba atusemangi tunakuja kama niko hapa ni hana tade na gathina kabesa hebu jikia wega nimezima simu nisipigiwe na manager wa banka na nitavuta leo juu ya loan natakiwa kulipa na sijalipa ni hana tade na karoni kiremwo huyu hakuna mwenye akuagi na kitu yake nimezima manager ametavuta na piga hospi ati nilitakiwa kwenda jana si mimi ni mteja i've been mteja for several days and i've been in prayer praying and seeking god fasting gehoera gwakwa gehoera kwanyu gehoera mushamani oyo gehoera forori i've been praying and now i'm here preaching nikajua ya kwamba kile nakuja kuhubiri dalia na manager ni hakiri ni ikura Jua ananiambia anagojea niende nilipe. Kila mmoja wetu ako naka issue but we are much better. We are better love. Na Yesu anafanya nini? Jesu ni kaga atia. Anatoada. Aria gikoyo. Anatoa understand. Anatoa understand. Si ndio? Jesus understands us. Why? Because of where he came from. Masia takaya raba. Keep moving, keep moving. Hallelujah. Let's keep going. Judah begot Perez and Zerah by Tama. Kwanza huyo Tama ukisikia story yake lakini sitaki kwenda pale. Begot Hezron, Hezron begot Ram. Hata sitaki kule. Kwa sababu kuna watu walizaana like mimi nipate mtoto ya brother yangu. Achana na hayo tu. As he continue. Amen. Thank you God. Ram begot Aminadab, Aradab. Na ndo baikarite do kanitha ati ni murathikiria githoma. Munaona? Aya Nahab Nahashon got Salmon and Elea too. Salmon begot Boaz by who? Rahab. Okay, go ahead. How no horror hori. Huyu mwanaume anaitwa Salmon. Wakiwa na Rahab, magishiara mudhuri wetagwo Boaz. Rahab. Do you know who Rahab was in the Bible? 
Now the whole Bible, and you know Bible is a book of redemption. The theme of the Bible, ladies and gentlemen, from Genesis to Revelation, the theme of the Bible is redemption. The theme of the Bible is Jesus Christ. Okoro, na kuna mambo mingi sana tumeona katika ili geadikwa kwa Biblia, lakini dunia hii haigetoshea. Lakini Mungu kwa ukuu wake, God in his majesty, maya takapori adabasataya. God in his majesty, he chose to bring us the story of Rahab. Wakati Bishop Bogwa alikuwa wanatusomesha kule Nikiimba kwa sadi siku nilikuwa naimba Rahavu are motumia momaraya Rahavu are motumia momaraya No age kaera mwadhani yake monokia No age kaera mwadhani ya Nyokwelira asadi gerira neke todone niede toarire de deire todone nie de deire kwa wale hawa hawaelewi kikuyu rahabu alikuwa malaya mkali muno nanyi mnasema haya rahabu alikuwa malaya mkali muno rahabu alikuwa malaya mkali muno hakalitia jina la yesu akaokoka hakalitia jina la yesu akaokoka utajuta apana sitajuta utajuta apana sitajuta juta maana ni mimi nilijipeleka kwa wokofu maana ni mimi nilijipeleka kwa Yesu rahavu ale motumia momaraya alikuwa anapanga rahab the bible talks about this woman rahab alikuwa amejenga kanyumba yake in jericho anaishi kanyumba mwisho wa kona karibu na barabara akiona wanaume wakipita alikuwa anasema Daily akiona mwanaume wote anapita huyu akipita na akijua hana mwanaume wa kulala naye usiku ule anasema uh-uh, I think they were speaking let's speak today's language Sululu. anaona mwanaume anapita anasema mwanaume anaingia kwake siku ya kwanza siku ya pili na ni mwanaume ako na jamii yake Rahab anamwangalia anasema anaingia kwake analala naye Friday ikifika mwanaume mwingine amebeba mkate anaenda kupelekea watoto Rahab akimuona anasema mwanaume anaingia Sunday wanaume na wametoka kanisa wakipita kwa barabara Rahab anawaona anawaambia The Bible says she was a prostitute But God saw it fit to put her name in the genealogy of Jesus Christ in the bible that we may all know some of us could be prostitutes no i'm not some of people if you are there na kuna madhambi umeficha you have been doing it in a secret place kuna mambo mabaya umefanya katika maisha i believe dore moru tarahaf kila mwanaume she was an expert But God makapori adabasataya Holy Spirit of God speak to your people Holy Spirit of God change our thinking Holy Spirit of God take us to another level Mungu akaona ni vema in his majesty in his majesty Mungu akaona ni vema Yesu mwokozi wetu atoke kwa genealogy so kukiangalia na drumeni ya ukristiano Rahabu ale tata wa Jesu. Kwa hivyo Yesu akipangwa raini mapange, yule mama mwenye alikuwa malaya anaambia wanaume amepanga raini behind our savior. No agekaira mwadhani yake mwonokia. But she wants akaficha the spies wa Israelites. Akawaambia na nyinyi juu nimewaficha. Mkikuja kuhalibu hawa na kuwaua munirehemu pamoja na jamii zetu. Mkidamu dhaidha muhithe walifanya nini walichukua kitabaya ya red. Wakaifunga. Mama mama nipatie hiyo shuka yako ya red. Pati. 
Sister Mary, ingia kwa bagi yangu duk for a thousand. But ya hivi. Si mama hapa mami. Wala haku. Metakuwa hu. Sophia, we wa koko. Do you hear kena? Mary, bahasa kwa pochi hapo dani hivi hiko. Sio kwa pochi kwa bahasa yanye hiko hapo hivyo kuna bahasa hiko hapo. Nataka kutumia hii kitu yako niweze kuonyeshana hivi. Na nini na getha dukana liga nilewa. Teda hiyo wangu jiri kata baya akehe giri eno. Ndakura adhima. Ndakura adhima. E, si mama hapo tu. Rahab. Alisi. Si mama rutiwe Rahab. Ni kusema tu ni kitaba hii. Walipanga na wale maspais. Mufungiria hiyo kitaba ya red. Kwa hii nyumba. Ili. Wenye wanakuja kuharibu. Joshua magio kago take over. The city of Jericho. Wenye wanakuja kuuwa na kuharibu. Wakiona red wasingie huko. Ni nini ilikuwa kwa red? Ni gai makana mama wa setaya. Gai mona na gai ore otora gai. Tenena hidu etore a gai. Gai mona na gai ore otora gai. Tenena tenena na Kenya ture a gai. Gai mona na gai ore otora gai. Tenena nyumba imewekwa kitu ya red kitaba ya red uliwe hivi te kuona dadhi ya kanitha tawe mwenye amejificha kwa hii nyumba na jamii yao hata hawajui Mungu kama wewe hata hakuna record ya tithing madata idagada hana tawe we are better love jesus anatuada huyu mwenye amejificha kwa hii nyumba imepitwa hata hatoa kifugura kumi. hata hatoi sadaka hata haidagi kanisa kuiba vile tumemwimbia Mungu. Hata akisikia kuna mkutano kama huu angeweza kukuja. Huyu hata haombi mama madahoyaga. Ni vitu totoragio ni mahoya niguo. Ile awanyo nirie koya. Leda kenire da menya kule hefata. Wako akole wa iguru ne kole dai. Oiguwa ga mono tito Rahab hakuwa naomba Hata kama huo bagi kama hile marefu ya wagojiri Hagojiri ya huwa ya maraifu Iyo kidogo unaomba Mutumi hoyo Bishop with the wall Ale mumara ya kwa woda hoa ya Dadete gai Dao doe gai ule omoe Na gai mune ne He purposed to protect her na ado ao Eithuwe tokire mwese manio Toki tira maitho kore gai Oye ya wopira ikoro nade How much more Eithuwe Eithuwe to the akani Eithuwe to lito hagiru wanio toro Ato kahana kana ka jirafa Na to tiwe to titera ka kanitha Eithuwe to tea ka hadu gata shia gai Sisi tulikuja tukafuga biyashara na leo ni Thursday Huyu mwana mke hapa Kitabaya red And this was a type that theologians would tell you that. I kitaba sidiyo bisho mureithi. It is. Irikuwa inasimamilia damu ya Yesu. Ya kwamba damu the red. Ya kwamba wakati damu ya Yesu inatuosha. We are protected. We are covered. We are hidden. Ima kapori adabasataya. Wakati huu Yesu hakuwa mezaliwa. Yesu hakuwa mezaliwa. But there was a redemption story going on. Because Genesis to Revelation is a redemption story. And the Bible says in the book of Joshua. Ya kwa barahab na jamiza. Marahab okoro wa diri ya getha muru wanyina. Unyuwa ka kabeta yuwa brother. Anakunyuwa ka pale kambe kama dugu yako. Ule dugu yako anakutusi. Na usinue mukono ni najua. Uruma kwa ni muru wanyo kwa kari kwa gai. Mutore na ushedje maisha noma ya. My brother ame ni tu zifo. Rahab wari ita brother ya wakaweka hapa. It is not about how much you give in church. It is not about how many times you made a church. It is not about how much you sing. It is how much you obey. The last minute. Nitajificha. Na walikuja wakaharibu kila kitu. Wakaona the red. Mahari wariona the damu ya Yesu. Walipita. Yeso, Yeso, da hoya. Oji gwe re da. Yeso. No, 
Kage kahera muadhani yake muonokia That's why after this kuna watu wataokoka To do they are even better Rof Oniegega Oniege I love that Oniege Miegega Na Jesus anatuwa the start Ni sawa Ni hoi Ona gutura imono kujesu ni hoi Ni hoi mario gere hile na wigile kwa jesu dikoi Na ukiuga kwa wainga Ego akerege Diga shoka Ene genete ni kuonoka Ni genete ni kuonoka Nani edariri kana Wira wahinya Daruti dagyo kwa saita Ni kwa wainga Diga shoka Yonata menuo Diga shoka Daga fisi Diga shoka Daga renti God allowed the genealogy that as we talk of our Savior, Kenya the worst, wale had to ongei kwa jami yetu. Kama kwa jami yetu kukona maraya na gotire guito barea wa shoridie daigu wa mo maraya. But I know kuna maraya muranga. Na watu wakati muna ongea, hamu ongeagi about them, the secrets that families keep. Lakini Yesu anajua that you keep. Even those who are marayas and drunkards and whatever, they have a place at the table. Wakona nafasi kwa ke mungu. Now, after that, kuna boas. Hii mabaya boas begot obed. Hii mabaya boas. Uyu boas diyo tutaona na hapo. Boas mwenye muke wake alikufa finale ni tutaona tukule mambo irienda. Boas akaza nani? Obed. Wakiwa na nani? Uyu Ruth. Hii mambo za mungu. Si mungu wana tutuanga bali. Simu watu ambele. Unaweza kufanya. Unaweza kutenda. Mabu. Makubwa. Zaidi ya. Nio mbavyo. Wakati niliangalia juzi. Wache nitubuita tatarudhu. Ebu tuseme zote tatarudhu. Uyu tatarudhu aliyoleka kwa nyuba kwa yule mama naitua Naomi. Baba yao alikuwa naitua je? Eh? Abi Mereki. Sidiyo? Kukawa na jaa sana kwao. Eh, kabiri wane kuwamire. Kuna watu wa kabiri wapa? Kabiri watene kuomaga. Tulikuwa na shampa kabiri wa. Ay, ay, ay. Ratuwa diya maguru, maguru. Nikuwa tunadoka, hey, kutoka na hapo chini tunaeda kabele. We are walking six kilometers. Kama tumebeba maidi na muna hii. Pafatu ya kaya, yuwa. Uyuwe kana gole. Tataruzu. Aliyoleka kwa jami mzuri sana. Lakini katika kuoleka, kwa kukawa na ja, kiangazi kakuja, hakuna chakura. Baba yao, the father-in-law na the mother-in-law, Naomi, wakatoka kwa wakaeda muabu. Kule hili yuone kana negothi yeleu? Wakaenda kule. Wakiwa kule, walikuwa na two sons. Naomi, alikuwa mebalikiwa na two sons. Awa two sons wakati walifika muabu, wakaowa Ruth, na umu ingina naitua, opa. Na wakuwa mepata mtoto, can you imagine? Lakini, yule mwanaume fafawa hao, Agekua, ebu tuzeme woye. Amekufa baba yao. Kukaka yule Naomi ya mejionia mambo. The two sons died. Ruth ni mustiana, young lady. And I believe she was a beautiful lady. Na sita ungea mambo ya Olpa. Let me come to Ruth. Kwa sababu Ruth diyo tumeandikiwa hapa. Ruth sasa kimeumana. Wakiwa kule Moab. Wakasikia ya kwamba Bethlehem, Bethlehem is called a house of bread. Wakasikia ya kwamba kuna chakura, netosha oke iguito. Turudi kwetu modhidi tumekabiru, watudi kwenye reu, we go back. Na sasa wakati walienda, Ruth alikubali kufuata the mother-in-law. Na mother-in-law alikuwa na muabia, sasa si ukae huku utafute kemu wana, wei gerele ya uwa, wei kio gemu wana. Si ukae huku, anasema, kore ya uwa, ore ya uwa, kwera ne, kwera ne, kwera. Alimufuata. Isi ya bishop udoe, nye bata isi ya. 
Ona doi nyu, ona doi sami dono. Ona bisa pajui, ata jui wai tak aje ni doi. Awa wala wali yoko kai yoki tabo. Awa bisa bogua, muli se. Ata sami dono ya kuliani bisa puleko. Awa jui, ugu mabir ni kore wai tak aje ni. Aburi eh, atu kata kaku. Ita tu is the life they know. Eh, awa tu alipenda God awa taki ma boy gine. Ini ukiwa uliza na sema nige nete neko noka nige nete neko no nani edari rika na wera molito daruti dagyo ne shaita ni kwa wainga diga so eni wakereke diga so ah juizo. Ogo na ogo mo e igoro kwa Jesu. Awaji mabosi gine. Unauliza mabosi gine zina treda gawa na shidu atego treda. But tio e. And that's why we are getting back. So that we can feed ourselves with the word of God. Kushidaka kwa TikTok. Mashida ikikuja unanguka. Ukipigwa na maisha tu unanguka. Ukishida tu kwa social media kujua nana nafanya hivi na mefanya hivi. Ati wanasema nini kuhuzu wa gojiri. Utaisha. Lakini ukishida kwa neno. Abia mweza kwa kura neno. Ukishida kwa neno, ukishida kwa mahubili kama vile tunaisikia, unapata nguvu. Hata maisha kikupiga, unaweza kusimama. Tuwe hamwe. And so ladies and gentlemen, Tata Ruth. Amefuata Naomi. Mao sama amesema niye kule yogo kue na niko kue. I'll follow you. And so she followed this great woman, Naomi. Wakati walifika na yeye, kurudi nao Bethlehem. Naomi alianza kuchora. Musicha na murebo wako hapa. Korwa no akio neki muano na kiri agi tete mutu mia kana gea kule ira liko ta ha he mudro mio kule ira liko demu edere mo doare kuna mo nya me how do you say go kule ira liko in Swahili mo na umo mo nya me zekea jiko ni uko ona na muti gea gua ko lakini kama ni siku za Yesu bado gea diko ata kama umo zekea wapi because every one of us is significant when it comes to Jesus. In the eyes of Jesus. Amen. So the story na staki kuka pale sana. Now Ruth dia yule akafanya connections zenye tunajua. Uyu ni mwanamke alioleka akiwa mdogo. Mume wake alikufa akiwa mdogo. Actually the Bible talks of ruo. Roho mtumia munini akuirirwa ni mudhuri we. And I know they are here. Ha hena tumia walifiwa na waume zao ama wengine walitupwa ama wengine okehenyo mume wako anakuacha naenda kurana na mke mwingine and you are young painful si mimi nasikia ngoma mambo mingi mimi the platform i sit in ni deigua gira maodogori ya mwadhani wonire no ningekuwa maya ngai mwega mimi nasikia ngoma mambo sa zingine bishop gagalira because of what i hear mama mwenye alikuwa na watoto wawili na mume ameaga amefukuzwa kwao kuwa hikiri yake roma akisalimia mwanaume mahali enoro arume we guthe kanao na no kugaithania gaithania what young women go through when their husbands die and in that pain and the scenario the whole story of Ruth Mungu akaona ni vema tupewe hadithi ya kule Yesu alitoka the savior of the world the hope of glory ili wewe na mimi tuweze kuelewa tuliafata we are better and Jesus anatua Ruth na uchugu wake akafuata Naomi and somehow somehow Naomi na kinywa iko sora kwa wale ni Bible iko na mambo mingi Bible hata iko na hiyo maingine unafuata tu unacheka yani Naomi anampagia huyu msichana wa mume wa wasani yake anamwambia mudhuri yule adale mudu <laughs> wewe ukienda kulima ukikuja ji uoge Harafu urale hapo karibu na migu yake. Usi muguze, urale wapi? Anyway. Iyo tutakuja kwa kapo. Zemen. Sema eh. Najua suwezi yogea hivyo bishop wakiwa hapa. Taka siri yeo dogejo. Tiko ojeso. Dio yodo? Nye dio dogejo yoje? Yeso. Now look at this. Ruth was given hope by God. Alikuwa nafanya kazi. Ya kuokota michele michele huit gano gano yenye imebaki. Alafu anapata kitu ya kukula, anapelekea mamake Naomi. 
lakini rugano rukigarurukano muthenyo mwe ngai ari gikira kiundoi okimwetu and god did akio talk to me god did a akiodo this woman ruth alikuwa anaenda kutafuta mabaki kwa shaba ya mudosi wa area lakini mungu akafanya keo akafanya keodo he turned everything upside down nigetha ndo mamenye ni kolega igoro maria na mama masetea ili kujulikana ya kwamba kuna mungu biguni god turned the story upside down yule mdosi mwenye ile shaba mwenye ako na kila kitu finally alioa yule tatao ni muona tata ruthi tata ruthi ateko gikoyo ini huku muranga tusemaki tata ruthi tunasema tata ruthi muna muona tata ru Tata Ruthi ameoreka na mdo maisha imebadilika A woman who had no hope A woman alikuwa ametoroka kwao A woman alikuwa na machungu A woman alikuwa naomba watu A woman mwenye alikuwa amefika mwisho wake lakini Mungu aka change everything nigetha atole tagwo gai She got married to Boaz Listen to the story Boaz begot a bed by Ruth. Uyu Obed naye alifanyika kuwa baba ya nani? Jesse. Who is Jesse in the Bible? Eh? Brother of Uyu Jesse si ni yule Samuel alitumwa kwake maana Jesse alikuwa amebalikiwa na wanaume. Kumi na wagapi? Na walikuwa strong guys, si ndio? Mungu anamuita Samuel anamtuma kwa Jesse. Odie kwa Jesse. Umwagie mafuta yule nitakwambia. Tuko sawa? Wakati Samuel alienda kwa Mr. Jesse, Mheshimiwa Jesse Mungu akubariki. Mheshimiwa Jesse aliambiwa leta watoto wake. Wako. Alileta wote wale wanafanyaga exercise. Ni mwana mama asoz eh? Aliwapanga wote kwa line. Hambi Jesse Samuel yakoba kuna kamoja. Kanyi tiredi. According to according to Jesse that one doesn't qualify. The way so many of us and our families we disqualify our brothers. Ati onogigwa gojinya ukagoshera like to say mena kujja kutebe akwen. Muhate muhate si triko tuna hata nyoba. Adu makahata makaruga rafu tuko hapa lakini your brother ulioka oigete shenzi nyinyi mweta yake bagai mutikwenda kumugweta tode wako that was jesse for you hakutaka aka kanyonge kenye kana shidaga kwa malizo huko kakilisha ngombe kakuje wapi according to jesse david didn't qualify according to jesse kamwana kakare idagia kati qualify te maguta magai And so Jesse ameleta vijana wake. Analeta huyu roho wa Mungu anasema no. Analeta mwenye alikuwa na A. Mungu anasema ni moko alia. Analeta B. Mungu anasema no toraga wemenaga because you didn't get an A, you didn't get a. Analeta mwenye ametoka kibalu am, kazi. Huyu ni employed. Mungu anasema otora wemenaga to ndole wakinya levo yo. Todosia nasi ya gedo mira na matire wera bana e ona dogithi kanitha kana guruta wira wa mama wenya hawato wangi ushuda mwathani agoso kanitha mwathani agoso arenge doka kuga ngai ni ajekeire there are women who don't testify because of the history of watoto wao si aliza kwa jiko ah twali ithe da siari riko ucio na dangigwetwo bishop anajua mimi mahali huko kwetu My, my sister mwenye nimefuata alipata mtoto akienda form 1 na wakati alipata mtoto babangu alimwambia wewe na mama yangu na mtoto mwenye amezaliwa akuenda secondary sasa after that many years nane wa guy dole mugaruri the same mtoto mwenye hao alifukuzwa those days alipata green card some 15 years ago anasoma america na alikuja kuchukua mama yake Because we are better off. And Jesus understands 
and I know she's watching. Come and watch Sahi at a watch later. That's the secondary. Akuenda. Masi yari yari ko. Tiramna nao. Anachukiwa. Mana haku wale kasi yari za hapo. Lakini in the history ya lineage ya God, you matters. You Nimedera wewe ulikuja mkutano huu ama unani watch. Yaweza kuwa kwenu ukiangaliwa you don't qualify. But in the eyes of God, Jesus understands you. Sasa mimi when I was growing up na my sister yule ndo tumefika hapa nimepata kazi nimeanza kujulikana. Nilikuwa nasomea my mother. Juu mimi nilikieda nyumbani kabla ya my sister kweda. Mamangu akiwa na uko shaba. Akiwa gojiri nioka. Ate nioka eh. Anaita vijana wa my brother nyumbani. Then no eh tengelia iko kojoke kuku iko nje watoto wa my brother wanakibisha kuku todo wa godiri nio nio ka ina by the time mami atoke kwa shaba goko ne munye todo ne do my sister uyu alifanyika house girl vile nilikuwa kitabu oka mosie tana mami na kuguruma mami ne doka e ne goka hagera igetheri ne go te mairi go waga ne go Mimi sijawe ambiwa tema iri go todo demo nejoweka ine nejiguekaga I had to go back to tell my mother there is no of stomach enough God told me I'm not better than my sister because nene yegeiguekaga nene yedekereigueta musio yo ni mwanyona ona ru nekogerera kuo kinya go kwekomereirie hakuherutura matumbe komereirie todo ni do lakini huyo mwana dagikire na mimi nilikuwa na harusi kubwa i had a beautiful and i'm married by a handsome guy my god guy woo mara ke igiri mwili ya romene mosiarago no akwa ne aciarirwo guy mamurone guy mamurone mutuli wakwa tu ona kuruga marogu aroga magogu ato magakira woo mutiugebu you know what i'm talking about this is the point ladies and gentlemen kama katika boma yetu mama yangu ataona mimi ni more important than my sister mwenye alipata mtoto kwa nyumba amekosea when it comes to the lineage the genealogy of Jesus Christ uria wasiari ile liko ni wagoro Jesus understands ha yule ambaye hajurikani tumepewa wote haijarishi yale umepitia katika maisha you are special in the eyes of And so Jesse ameleta watoto wote. Thank you so much. Ameleta watoto wote. Lakini roho hajaogea. Akaulizwa na Samuel, "Na na na, yaweza kuwa ni kule kage, maybe." Ni toto toto toje, toto to. Kuna waina hii. Kuna mwenye alipata D minus. Kuna mwenye kada kuona leo wewe, aha, kalete yako. We all know the story. Wakati David alichomoka, oimetagethaka. Gai yake alia. Because you are better love and Jesus understands haijarishi umegongwa na maisha mpaka wapi Mariama katori adabasataya when you look up to Jesus beholding him as in the mirror wakati unamtazama Yesu Kristo wewe wagoro wewe wafata don't hate yourself this understanding will change muranga Tukielewa haya yote muranga will be transformed will be restored in Jesus name and so Mungu alinena huyu dia nimechagua was david anointed yes in front of the brothers alikuweko kukikujo hapana hata wewe kwenu hata katika maisha yako even where you are in your working place Those people who are honored and respected in some working places in their working places lakini wengine nobody bothers as long as you hold on to Jesus Maria makatolia basitaya as long as you hold on to Jesus your story is not yet over as long as we gire kwa guide koima your story is not yet covid ilikuja ikakugonga your story is not maisha imekugonga Your story is not you are important in the eyes of And so David got it. Amemwagiwa mafuta. Mnamuona? But now listen. Now the now reason. Can you imagine who you David ni bingu lilifunguka Mungu akaogea? But listen. 
David the king begot Huyu David akijua kule Mungu amemtoa akijua nguvu amepewa na God mpaka anaua lion Huyu ni yule aliua Goliath mnakumbuka David akiangalia tu anaona mwanamke mwingine anaona ni mrembo kwa shida yake ana shida ruhu na ni muhiku huyo ingi moya atia wacha ni uwe mume wake nichukue msichana David David Don't you remember you are anointed of God I'm speaking to preachers you mimi from where I sit Bishop Bogwa nimesikia mambo mingi ninakutanga kameme nikitoka mke wa mchugaji ananiambia mudhuridhi kwa idhatu roji nina muhiki ungi wahubili wenye wamekataa to honor they have refused to honor the calling they do not walk in spiritual integrity they do not guard their character and men women walimwagiwa mafuta na wakaitwa kama watumishi wa Mungu but they live in sin mehia waganu na nemeti ruone gai the holy spirit is saying even in that sinful moment and sinful situation you are still better off and jesus understands how can jesus understand muhubiri alimwagiwa mafuta Mutogorio imagana igoro kwa gaido imaga kweda ine kwa ado Aduragirwo dane gai akamurwo na gaitelerio ma Osho moderie na mo amore ne gai nia roga mirio bere ado mamenye a preacher a coworker mtu mwenye mafanya kazi kanisani lakini wakati haonekani can do anything mtu mwenye ako kanisani na watu wanamjua ni mtu wa kanisa lakini tabia zake bofu mtu mwenye alimwagiwa mafuta akiradhimira watogori ya negai agetigana na doao mwibaji mwingine si alisema hivyo i'm singing like this ladies and gentlemen those who are watching from far because i am home I'm preaching from Moranga County. Mobi crowds. Tumeugama hapa for a huge meeting where God is doing wonders for his own glory. Because God will never let Moranga go. And Moranga for Listen to me dear ones. Tulikuwa tunaimba Wati ganire na shiaria kuna doa nyunio doa leto aria moadani na masio modeni okare honene yoto dogaiti wagalioko ahujia moranga jamii zao wanajua ni ahonokire lakini tabia bovu riwa doto mahujia geria makaga ohonokio ni wa pastangania a preacher wengine ma bishops wengine wako na mataito lakini kwenda muhiki na kuri harumu odhiage kona nengoka ti ndo munene mtu mwenye anajulikana na jamii yao ni muhubili letting his own children die down by sleeping with waschana walika ya mware ile kitu imeharibu kanisa watu wengine muona yake wana kokoni kia wa godiri ni gaikare may the lord help us we have to be examples ladies and gentlemen mtu mwenye alisimama na akaokoka halafu mungu akakupa upako wake and you are anointed by god to be his servant yet you cannot guard spiritual integrity Some of these things these are values that have made some of us to start. Mahali nimefika nikikumbuka bishop wa shori ya Kejera na todo wathie media dukana jonore. I am in the media 24 hours bishop Bogwa not 24 hours 24 years. They gire kama meme ya kamero goire nena mehetoku. And I have stood the test of time. Maka poria baba basa ta. Kudane doni ya dwaria muona ga TV ne you only see them in TVs matige mukuhereria gero ihoya riu gwenda uhoere tuerumu 
Na ni moe jetaka wa gojiri and they know gojiri ti fafa. Na ni moe gojiri ti mwana wako wa. Kuna mtu aliniambia ne gari niliona ile kagari unaenda nayo na I want to buy you a machine. Leto wale ya kuna inene muno wa gojiri ngwenda gugurire gari ya ndoma gutambure. Na ni kiho noko kia miaka mingi. Gishurio mutiguru. I have said no to so many offers to start where I'm studying right now. Maria mama masete. Because I am a woman who have values. Nedemero gamo. There are things I said my adigeka na my adigeka de mutumia wa ngai ni ndahonokire na de muhiku na de na muthuri my adi. Usiku mchana. And so I walk with great men and women. Na didi hede de dashonoka. Kutiri hado dia gagai na madali di kana maria tureke. Kana hari ya dela. I have never. Na not only the 24 years. Kuma hede o dada da gwane bishop. Kutiri hado igiru uga mogu wa jonoke. But now I preach with people. Muhujio na muhiki muna yu aka inama. Nege todo hari di kana hai. Ule ya tuwari rumu na ake hari. Woko muranga mudi yako. Eh? Rumu. Mudia rumu kone muka wale kwa mudia. Atike. Ini mudhuri wa keje na nemo. You know, some preachers who cannot start at the Wakanida, deacons and elders, what are now goes a prison worship, but they don't have various. How are you, Missy Mamo? Yakobo and Asema Mimi Nimeito and Amungu. I am anointed of God. I am followed by many. I look at my life today, Bishop Bogwa, and I try to imagine at the Wariama Joy, Igegaroka. Ike tuka niya niye. Na hali ya majo. Awe magi wa gotire gai. Kama uyu ni wa gojiri ya nafanya hivi. Gotire ne. Na nikiona niye dadhu ulire. Maka ya rababa bosa. I made a choice. I will start farm. Wuko kato madeke history. There was a woman. Weta walu si wa gojiri. She was in media. She was a preacher. Oime te muranga. And she stood the test of times. In your bash, you adore it. You there, they come and adore. Now, you got it. I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. I'm singing like this because I'm in Moranga County. Next Saturday, I'm going to be in Vihiga County. Niki Hubiri Vihiga, I'm going to be in Kiluya. Iyo Saturday igine nitakuwa na hubiri burudi. I'm going to Bujubura, a crusade. Na siyo kuitua ni meitua kama vile ni meitua leo. Ni mimi ni meipanga. I am planning with wahubiri wa huko. Hata wajawai niona. But I know roho wa mungu wanaeda bere yangu. I don't have to tell them. Jetaku wangani ya hano na the Holy Spirit will show them. Kana negote. Kana nenga imodheli. And I'm going there. And I'll continue going. Why? Because I have values. Kunayo mizizi na mambo zenye zina niongoza. Studying by the word of God and not compromising for anything I want to achieve. So many people are compromising their, their salvation. Oho nokio katu ka compromised. Ni todo tu abesha. Ni todo tu afem. Ni todo tu afem. Kogi igueta compromising. Kogi abia compromising. Ladies and gentlemen. David, masa yangu imeisha. Sasa nataka kuruka niseme hivi. Na bado aliua. Akaua mwanaume ili awe mke wake. Na mudhuri yake ugithio masakaya. Atoa kwa masakaya ni arutire kedo. Mugithie mukenya deke grishi igana le moe. Eta ne moda maki. Eh ni masakaya ni ato manire. And God there give us the genealogy na akagoetwa oyo. Nigetha tumenye ya terere. We are better he got Solomon. Solomon ye mwana wa munene. 
Solomon yale na guy yale meeting God and in a temple and then God tells me just tell me what you want. He had God's voice. Not like one Reverend Lucy wa Gojiri. Doraka kwa guy ne gwetekia. Solomon aiguire mugambo. Akiru Solomon ne wajetia maudu maingi but I'm giving you something. Kiri otanet yane go kohe kinyona keo. And he became great. Oria nene hire. Akimenyeru ni ahiki. Gutire irinda onaga rikihituka. Akaga akaga kuhitukania na leo. 700 women na mwakokora wona how many day 360 kugwarara gokwa who man who was wicked called solomon but the bible gives us the genealogy nigetha tumenye atirere tutige kuimena ngai ena fata na ithwe even preachers who have compromised mungu akona haja because he still used david like never before with the psalms na mage maige so that we may know gaye fatana idwe who had been the wife of uria dabweda hapo 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 sorry nimechelewa hata sitaki kuangalia bishop bogwa asikataye kuniita next time now wacha turuke huko kote tuende na hapo mwisho uzia tumepita solomon bigot ha hiyo yote enda tu jacob bigot joseph aha ebu ona sasa jacob bigot joseph the husband of Mary tumhurumie Jacob uh, Joseph kidogo tumhurumie kwa nini He found it difficult nilikuwa nimeandika to understand the supernatural conception of Jesus Maji David amependa kaschana tu na amepanga vile atakaoa And you know Matthew puts it this way in Matthew 1:19 that David Joseph was a just man Nilikuwa nasoma from some traditions Bishop Bugwa naona some theologians wa, uh, from from some traditions wanatuletea Joseph Biblia ikisema he was a just man alikuwa kama ni siku ya leo like a deacon or a neoda in church So alikuwa mtu mwenye anatumika kwa kanisa alikuwa mtu anaogopa Mungu alikuwa kama hawa tuko na tuko na hizi hapa alikuwa like this amegojea Mungu amepata kasichana virgin akikagojia kukaoa kana tokelezea kana sema I'm, I'm like this I'm trying to imagine kama ni siku ya leo guy social media ati Mary unasema ni roho ati nini ni roho mtakati ah oh, yeye yeah, hiyo yeah. yaweza trend ni kuambia hiyo yaweza enda baya if it was today but the bible says Joseph aka contemplate vile ataachana na Mary lakini wakati alipanga kumuacha Roho wa Mungu akashuka, malaika wa Mungu akamtokelezea na kamwambiaje go to 21 No sorry go to I think it is not 21 it is 19 it's okay let's say but while he thought about these things which things uko na mimba wewe unaniambia you are pregnant na nimeku engage tandiatea wewe Wacha kuniambia do you know i have a name in this church because joseph had a name joseph ari agalia kashido ni tabia watu namna gani makashiria dio e guy what do i do what do i tell wakati alifikiria ile he thought about these things behold an angel of the lord appeared to him in a dream saying joseph son of do not be afraid to take mary your wife for that which is conceived in her is from the holy spirit staki kuendelea kama ni mtu mwingine alienda kumwambia Joseph Mungu amesema hata kama wewe ni Joseph ugeamini lakini Mungu alitokelezea yeye mwenye mambo zingine vile to make decision ya kupenda Mungu do not listen to an outside voice hold on to what you know about God because everything you know about God will keep you what you know about God will fight for you What you know about God will take you far. What you know about God will open doors for you. What you know about God will sustain you in times of difficulties. What you know about last year, last year beginning of last season last year last year but one our bishop hapa he was sick. Bishop alienda hospital allow me to say this. Bishop alikuwa operated kichwa. Alifunguliwa kichwa yote pande moja hivi hivi. Huyu and daktari walikuwa natuambia at his age um naye mom the wife hapa anasema ni hata tutonete na guy kufika mahali tumefika ni kitu gani hatujaona 
Aliniita akaniambia wa gojiri eh I am not releasing my husband now. Nijui ni agakua ni tugakua no tire. Na ni ngegea ngeiyoria. You don't do my God, dear talk. I talk at the theater to Kim Goja Kisema Reka Nama Mama Sata Reko Dodo Bobo Sata Rima Kataraba. He was speaking in tongues. Mbaka to Namua Geresha, where she did not canida because Kiria we gave Nikuke was sustained a qualitoha. Every word that you know about God, every promise of God that you know. Hendiria we na kira ni roki ya gai dene waku motole na waku hora teke that which you know about God will keep you will sustain you. Joseph stood. Akagaria kuligana na the law of Moses ilikuwa Mary apigwe na mawe awawe but according to the love of God Musa mehe ladies and gentlemen fellow Christians gathered in Muranga today according to the law of Moses. Sisi wote tumekosa Mungu. Lakini Mungu anasema according to his love, you are forgiven. Jesus lived like us. Jamii zao zilikuwa kama zetu na zingine mabobaya. Maisha yenye alikuwa when he was growing because he is God incarnate. Akiwa ulimwengu huu alikuwa both God and man. He lived like us na mashida Nilienda Israel kuona kule alikuwa anapitia mambo ya Yesu mambo ya tunaangalia he lived just like us ili atuelewe and the bible says in hebrews 2 verse 17 as we start to simami Jesus entered into every detail of our lives aliingia katika kila mai, m, kila mmoja wetu maisha yetu tuweze kumuelewa therefore in all things he had to he had to be made like his brethren. Yesu alifanyika kama sisi. Maisha kama sisi, sisi. As mazito kama sisi kama wewe na kama mimi. That he might be a merciful and faithful high priest. Akawa merciful. Ono koroni muwekiria onowe. Ono koroni mulitoheirwa muga kinya hanare. Nidramu igwiratha. That's yake. Italegedimi. And faithful high priest. Akafanyika high priest. And that's why we are counting two weeks to kubuke Easter. While Jesus became the high priest in things pertaining to God to make propitiation for the sins of the people. Nigeza to atokuero to rekerwa mehia maito. Verse 18 says, "My Arababo Sataya, eh, I worship you, Holy Spirit, for in that He Himself had suffered. Jesus ona hana taidu akegiye kakinyagokuwa, being tempted akegeliyo tajira fumwa na wajira. Maisha uduli mwenguhu." Horeka papa being tempted he's able to aid those who are tempted nigeza twali to herwo ne mutorire and we used to sing twagel yombo no ne tweoragia eto migia to hinye to kayoria tia to kayoria When we are tempted and tried, ni maodo circumstances of life, na ni tuwa kire kwa gai, and we face circumstances that are difficult. It is good to know, ladies and gentlemen, we have Jesus on our side. The high priest, mwenye aliteso na akasimama, mwenye aliteso na akasimama, mwenye anatuelewa, because we are, we are better off. The scenario, the genealogy ya Yesu, ya Jesus, nituweze kujua, neidwe tuwe kuo, we are better off, he understands us. Inua mikono kwa ke mungu. Talk to your God one minute. Ambia mungu asanti umenipa nguvu nimefika mahali nimefika. Asanti mungu umenitoa bari. Asanti mungu kwa upako juu ya maisha yangu. Asanti kwa mahali nimepitia na umenisimamisha. Katika jina la Yesu Kristo. 
Asanti kwa usaidizi wako. Asanti nikiwa mnyonge ukaninua. Asanti nimetoka bali. Asanti umenisimamisha. Asanti unanipenda. Asanti niko kanisani. Asanti umenifungua macho nikujue. Asanti wewe ni Mungu wangu. Asanti unanijari. Asanti nimepitia mazito kwa boma yangu, lakini wewe ni Mungu mwaminifu. Asanti kwetu kuko hivi na kuko hivi, lakini wewe ni Mungu katika jamii yetu. Asanti Jehova. Wito ne kulitoe, no ni udoretie, na ni ukodorerera, na ni ukonoga mia. Kanitha ine wito ne kulitoe, no ni we Ngai, ni ukodorerera, ni ukonoga mia. Maisha imekuwa mazito, no ni we Ngai wako. Ni ukodoga mia, ni ukodorerera. Asanti Yesu. Umekuwa mwaminifu. Umekuwa mwaminifu. Mambo makubwa zaidi ya ni navyo. Oh unaweza kufanya. Unaweza kutenda mambo. Hallelujah. We worship you Jesus. Niluhusu Bishop niombe dakika mbili tuweka mkono kwa kifua. Tuombe tukiwa wote. Maria kapo shataya. You are God from beginning to the end. You are God enthroned, adored, magnified. Hakuna aliye kama wewe. Na tuombe zote pamoja sema Asante Yesu. Kwa neno lako. Asante Yesu umenifariji umenitoa bali nimepitia mazito nimeona machungu jamii yangu imepitia mazito huduma yangu imepitia mazito lakini wewe Yesu unanipenda unanijari unanielewa unanielewa umenisimamisha saa hii nitakaze nisaidie kusimama imala nisaidie kukupenda nisaidie kusoma neno lako nisaidie kuomba nisaidie kusimamisha jamii yangu kwa maombi asanti kwa uguzo mpya roho wa Mungu shuka tena Shuka tena inua mikono hana tare kumweta mwele roho wa Mungu Shuka tena Shuka tena nipate nguvu ya kuendelea Roho wa Mungu nipe nguvu ya kuendelea maana Yesu ananielewa Haleluya sema amen piga makofi piga makofi piga makofi Please to me Makaya raba baba sata. Such a great honor my seniors because you are all my seniors here. There are so many of us when you go through challenges una nilikuwa naambia wanaume church last Saturday instead of coming cross to God you run from God. Wakati unaona mambo hayanendi vile unataka you don't run from God you come cross to God because he understands you. Nitwanyita na ni akwali to hale mutige kuragira ngai kuhereria ngai wakati unapitia mazito do not miss church dukana tere kanitha ni mari oragerera ate wagojiri kone we mari adiragerera wakati unapitia mazito come to wakati kimeumana nyubani come to we go to god we don't run from and there are some people here you know and you know that siku ya leo uwe ameangalia maisha yako na umeona kweli kabisa mimi ni kama wengine kwa hiyo lineage lakini siku ya leo nataka kufichwa kwa damu ya Yesu nataka nipokee wokofu ama ninahitaji nguvu mpya za wokofu kuja mahala hapa come over here as we sing to god mambo makubwa zaidi ya niyo baba come here for salvation you know you need strength Ufataire hinyamwero honokio you need grace 
you need nguvu mpya za kuweza kusimama uliokoka kitambo ama unataka kuokoka sahi and you need the salvation the kama ya Jesu ni wewe to haragiria Jesus understands you come running come 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 ni nani wa kwanza kunisalimia come come join me as we sing come 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 thank you you need the strength and come simama hapa God bless you son simama hapa as we sing sing togeria ikai thank you sir thank you sir thank you thank you sir thank you so much thank you no ka you get that part what you have gone through thank you sir come over here thank you thank you so much god bless you receive it mara make sure you greet me make sure you greet me unahitaji nguvu mpya ama unahitaji wokofu come over here thank you thank you thank you you need salvation come over here Jesus makapora baba bring them to your kingdom 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 bring them to the kingdom bring them to the kingdom wamekuja wengine waliokoka kitambo but they really need another special touch of the holy spirit wamekuja wengine wanaokoka for the first time are you there you know so well you are not sure of your salvation you are not sure of what you stand for you are there ni wewe naita come we pray god cannot bring on this meeting yenye imegalimiwa na pesa mingi pengine hii yote imefanywa ili wewe uende kwa level nyingine you are there You are not sure of your salvation. Come over here. You are not sure of your salvation. Come over here. You need strengthening. Come over here. Jehovah, unaweza kufanya zaidi ya yale tunaomba. This pray your majesty. Holy Spirit of God, take over now. Akaya la la baburi ya mama sataya. Zaidi ya I'm waiting for somebody there. Yesu kwa nguvu mpya umenitakaza umenisamehe umenipa nguvu mpya roho wa Mungu shuka kwa maisha yangu nipate nguvu leo hii nimeokoka nimepata nguvu mpya kwa wale mume ulikuwa umeokoka sema tu over to like this leo nimeokoka na wale wameokoka sasa hii sema leo nimeokoka nimepata nguvu mpya sasa nitaishi kwa ufalme wako Mungu niwezeshe katika jina la Yesu and now declare lift your hearts to God let the others all the others can you get seated wale wengine lift your hearts to God as it was in the days of Pentecost Holy Spirit of God Roho Mtakatifu wa Mungu shuka sahi let there be baptism by fire Maria Makataria de Bosetaya I release the 
anointing of God that will cause you to go to higher places, that will cause you to know God in a new level, that will cause you to experience the impossible. Receive the anointing, receive the grace, receive the refueling, receive the strengthening, receive the touch of God, receive in Jesus' mighty name. I declare baptism by fire. Receive it right now. From the top of your heads to the soles of your feet. Revival, re-energizing, the spirit of God moving. And from now, you will start. I declare you will start. Sema nitasimama kwa gubu zake mungu. Amen. Amen. Father, I thank you. These are your servants. These are your people. You have done it for yourself. Now, Jehovah, we nuliwe, utukuzwe, uabudiwe, nami nipungue. Karika jina la baba, na la mwana, na roho mtakatifu tuseme. And again, you are special people. Na nigeomba wote wale wameokoka. Let's give the... Nani, nani atawapiana majina kwenu? Yes, kaidri mnaona mami wale wako wanyuma. Give, give your names. Kwa those, so that we can be praying for you and to the glory of God. Amen. Kwa heshi masana, nigetaka saini mkalibishi askofu bogwa ili aweze kuendelea. Na kwa yote abawi mefanyika, mimi nipungue wewe uongeze ke. Jesus, I decrease that you increase. Basi tupigie bwana makofi mazuri. Amen. Tunaweza kuketi